Hey everyone, Mr. Fantastic here. We are back with a brand new Total War Warhammer 2 campaign. We are doing Cetra the Imperishable. So we did attempt this <clears throat> previously. The reason that it didn't continue is I lost a bunch of recordings and it was like, I think four hours that I ended up losing and it was kind of not great. And it was also the same time Malagor uh, came out. So we decided to do Malagor and then same thing happened with Malagor. We ended up losing a bunch of recording uh, and moved on. It was great. It was thrilling. But anyways, we are going to be doing this now. Uh, Cetra the Imperishable. And then I probably will go back to Malagor again as well. I think that's the order of operations there. So Cetra is going to be a lot of fun. He's going to be very difficult for me, I believe. Um, but it'll be interesting. It'll be fun. I'm going to enjoy it, I think. We are only going to do battle normal and campaign hard. Uh, I want to keep these Let's Plays moving. <clears throat> Whereas if I up the difficulty... I feel like I would get bogged down quite easily. Um, even with the Ica Claw campaign, you saw that. We got bogged down by Grimgor and the Empire. And it was very slow going there for a little while. And I don't mind that too much. But I also don't want to spend half an hour. Like, the episodes are usually about half an hour. I don't want to spend the entire half an hour just doing nothing of importance. Right? Like, I want to spend some time, at the very least, doing something important each episode. Right? Uh, that being said, Cetra's start time, or beginning, is a little slow. Obviously, this episode is going to be about an hour, just to kind of get into it. But it will be kind of a slow episode, for sure. We have to make sure that we're set up properly. We have to make sure we have a bunch of Casket of Souls. Hopefully, ASAP. I'm going to shut up and let this happen, though. Your civilization lies in mere ruins of its former glory. Much must be done to restore greatness to your kingdom, and for all to fear your wrath once more. To the north, sire, savage greenskins threaten to raid your lands. They defile your mortuary shrines. Vengeance must be taken. More greenskins and skaven dwell in the mountains to the east, sire. They pose a potential future threat. While regions further south are already occupied by the Necrarch Brotherhood, sucking dry what life there still is in the desert. But these, great king, are but more distractions to a grander plan. The Black Pyramid stands guarded for now by a sentinel army. Control it and claim its dark secrets, and with it unimaginable power. Imaginable power. Cetra the imperishable, and all shall obey your rule. Yes, sir. Okay. So, my first time playing Warhammer 2 in a while. Um, it's definitely been a while. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move Cetra. We're going to keep Cetra right here, actually. Maybe even just move him here. And we're going to try and get to 20 units ASAP so let's just basically spam that out we'll probably end up canceling some of those and moving a little bit that's fine right now it's not too much of a worry um I need to figure out which one I want to go for first uh I do like the oh no that's just chariots I thought it was skeleton archers uh I do lock that for the Cameron war sphinx but that's a little ways away tax rate faction wide it's probably pretty good because we make zero money uh, that's pretty good as well. There was one that was actually, like, really, that I went for last time that I really, really liked. Um, speed for Lord's Army. This one is what I went for right away. I wanted to have the Winds of Magic ASAP. Um, we might go tax rate right, right away, though, because we have, we make no money, right? Like, I think we might go second dynasty. Off the hop. Um, but he's just like, it's not very good. I definitely like this one more. Yeah, let's go with this one. Okay. So we have a decision to make about Cetra himself. I know a lot of people go red line with Cetra. Um, I think I'm going to go spell line first. I just like having... I like having that a lot more. Probably my favorite thing to go through is going to be spells. Even though his spell line for Cetra himself, like the, his magic line, isn't the greatest magic line. Having that extra little bit of combat strength is super important. Okay. So Camry. 
Uh, what do we want to build here? I would like growth, but I would also like some money coming in. But growth, I feel like it's going to be way more important. Okay. So, not much to do in the very beginning here. We are going to take Zandri. Gorgazan, we're going to use as a Sac City for a little while. And we're going to hope that they lose Galbaraz to somebody. And Agro and Migdale, they'll lose to somebody. We don't want to take that at all. We don't want to be over there, anywhere near there. I do not want to be going north for a long time. I want to consolidate the south. The first place we're going to go is to the west. Uh, and take out all the way through here. We're going to try and rampage. Get rid of the... Cavalry, the Bretonians, ASAP, because they're going to be a pain. They're going to be pretty difficult to deal with later in the campaign if we leave them. And they're going to be difficult early game too, so... Yay. I'm just excited for difficulty, no matter what. Okay, so he is... Can we reach him? We probably can, but I also don't want to fight him just yet. So, we're just going to end the turn, I believe. We need this ASAP. So quick. I want that. I want multiple of them. Okay, yeah, they're coming. So we're going to take him on by himself. That's fine. At least we're not negative money, I guess. Uh, okay. We only have 12 units, but I think that should be more than enough to deal with this. It is a close victory. Will we lose anything? I don't think so, but we still have to manually fight it. Uh, just because we can't really afford to lose a lot of units here. Or take a lot of damage, even. Not saying that I'll do much better than the auto-resolve, but I can at least hope that I'll be better than the auto-resolve. We do need archers. We need that archer building ASAP. Um... Which I actually probably should have built instead of the growth building. But we can get rid of that chariot building and put archers in there instead. I should have done that earlier. But that's no big deal. Not the end of the world. Uh, the war sphinx can go right there. The chariots can go out over here. And Setra, you've got nothing except for your explosion. And this. Which is good for the war sphinx. But otherwise it's going to be pretty trash. Just fast forward while they come towards us. Oh, we're attacking them. Mm -mm -mm. It stopped triple speeding. Okay. More Sphinx, I want to charge right into those orcs, please. I would love to be able to take out their archers with these guys, but they're really well protected right now. Uh, Cetra, I'm going to get him to charge in right there and hopefully gain a l get a lot of them to charge into me. Uh, you guys can actually back up for a second, because otherwise, these guys are going to charge you, and you're not going to do very well. Not at all. Uh, you can stop for a second, let other people catch up. Setcher, why are you so slow, though? 31. Yeah, you're barely faster than these guys. That's annoying. I need him on a War Sphinx ASAP. The, even as a Spellcaster, I know the Spellcaster is slightly better on Chariot, but I prefer him being able to actually duel Lords and things of that nature. Um, and I feel like the War Sphinx is just so powerful. Are you firing at all? He is, but like, how much damage has he done? He's got two kills. Look at him. Moving on up in the world. Try and waste some of their ammo, I guess. And let's charge into these guys. Okay. Get these guys around. Okay. All in there, please. You can use this on the War Sphinx. The War Sphinx is taking a lot of damage right now, which is super ideal, obviously. Okay, you need to get in there. You guys need to get in there. Attack there, attack there. Cetra, use your explosion. You attack in there. My lord is under attack. I understand that. Cetra is going to have to move soon. Okay. We are breaking these guys pretty quick here, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, you guys keep attacking them. Cetra, get in there. Okay, we're doing okay. Not great, but we're doing okay. The archers are gone. Perfect. 
<clears throat> Cetra rules. <clears throat> I would like another. I would like another battle this turn for sure. Um, so hopefully we don't kill them all, but hopefully we get close. Okay, we are winning slowly. But we are taking, like, a ton of damage here, which is super ideal, obviously. Um... Okay. These initial battles are going to be the toughest, right? Like, these are going to be the hardest battles we have. Just because we don't have enough troops, and they're all trash. And they, they have decent troops. Not great troops, but decent. Cetra's taking a lot of damage. Use your explosion, please. And we're not going to get anywhere near Ushapti. Which is annoying. Yeah. Everybody on that lord, please. You guys all there. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, that lord is definitely going to lose soon. Okay, I think we can triple speed this. I think we can afford to now. There we go. Let's try and do some cleanup. Especially on these archers. I want to make sure there's none left if possible. Uh, that lord hopefully can take more damage. Okay, so I'm going to get all of these guys to screw off. And I'm going to get just the War Sphinx to attack this guy. I don't want to kill him, but I want him to take a decent amount of damage. It looks like they did finish off the archers, which is nice. Oh, no. Let him go. Let him go. Okay, and he's not dead, which I hope he's not dead. Because then that means we can hopefully kill him, like, extremely quickly next time. Um, I don't know if we're going to have enough movement. Because I do not want to get caught out by that next army. After attacking. We're going to need the replenishment. I would love, love, love to take the jars here and the money. But we need that replenishment. Yeah, he's going to... Mm. Okay, Cetra, you're going to take a level here. I... Route Marcher for sure. Decisive victory. Punishment again. Okay, so he's going to have to Force March. There's a, I don't think they're going to attack us. Um, but I'd rather be safe. Oh, even in the settlement you can't. Mistakes were made. I thought in the settlement that you could still recruit even though you're in Force March. I hate that leg. I definitely would have uh, abandoned that building. Or, yeah, torn down that building with that leg. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, well. Okay, so now attack him. Hopefully we get the garrison. Not quite. We are going to do that because we're not going to lose anyone. Shouldn't have done that because I wanted I should have taken another battle this turn. That was another mistake. So like I'm not the best player in the world right now. In right now. But in general. So like it will take some time for me to get better to the point where I wanna be. Like, I wanna be pretty decent by the time Warhammer 3 rolls around and be able to eliminate a lot of those minor mistakes that we're making. And that's why I'm getting so heavy into Warhammer 2, even though it's almost over, right? Is I want to be good at the game. Because Warhammer 3, as much as it's a new game, it's mostly just a giant expansion, right? And that's kind of the goal, is to be able to just expand. Uh, archers, please. Uh, we will get rid of some of these guys and put archers in. But we just need to get the 20 units ASAP. We don't have any money. They should send over another army yet, right there. So hopefully we can get to them. Take them out. Oh. Uh, I think we're going to go Lich Priests. 
Or do we go Necrotect? I think Lich Priest for the first one. Uh, what is your trait? Wise? It's not bad, but it's not something I want right now. Uh, recruit Hero. Lich Priest. Channeler. That's actually not bad. Cooldown to Arcane Conduit. That's not bad. Treacherous. Oh, but it's for Lord's Army, so it doesn't work. Knowledgeable, though. Look at that. And apparently Light is supposed to be the best. And look at that. We got Knowledgeable ASAP. That's actually awesome. Um, okay, so we can't reach him. So what we can do is go here. Recruit. Why can we not recruit Archer? Oh, one more turn. Okay. Uh, two more Spearmen. And then we'll be able to take him out next turn. Get the money that we need. Hopefully he doesn't actually screw off. So let's back up a little bit just in case he does decide to leave. There is a chance, right? And I'd rather he didn't. Because if he decides to go to... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I should have stayed back. I should have actually moved further back. Um... Okay. So I know Camry can deal with what I needed to deal with, but the imperishable. Okay. I think we're gonna go over to Zandri now. So let's actually. I think we're gonna go over to Gorgasan. Mm, Zandri, do we want to take Zandri? I think we'll wait to take Zandri. We're gonna move up to here. And then we're going to recruit the archers. Because then we can go take Gorgazan. I think Kemri will be able to deal with, like, if that's all they're sending. Kemri should be able... Oh, yeah. 100%. No issues. Just sucks because it won't be experience for Cetra, right? I just had to double check that I was recording. I'm like, ooh, I hit the button. But sometimes it glitches and doesn't happen. I could go... If I can reach him, I'm going to go fight him. I can't reach him. That's fine. Settlement upgrade available for Camry. We're not going to buy that because we need our other thing. Uh, you, sir, do you want nothing? Okay. I could take Xandri for the income. I just feel like we're going to loot Gorgazan quite a bit here, so I'm not too worried about the income just yet. It's not even like we're going to get a lot out of it, because I would prefer to see if they can level it for us. It's tier 2. If they can get it to tier 3, and I can take it at tier 2, I'd be very happy. Uh, so we are going to fight this one. Just because we're going to be sacking it a lot. I might end up cutting some of this. I'm not sure. Like, once we are doing the full sack city thing, uh, we might end up cutting a little bit of it, but I don't know. Because that's it's probably going to be... A decent amount of time. I don't know if I have the time commitment to be able to just do all of that off screen. Okay, so we're going to do this. With these guys directly behind. And these guys in the front. Out wide. You there. You there. You there. Start deployment. Start battle. Okay. They are coming, which is perfect. Do they outrange me? Identical range. Perfect. Okay. Guard mode. No, no, no. Guard mode. Okay. Now attack. No, why are you moving? You don't need to move. Yeah, three on one should be enough to be able to take them out. Okay, send them there. Send them there. And just send them up. You guys, circle around, please. You need to cast that. Okay, and then these archers need to focus on this. Guess, uh, <laughs> this guy. Jeez, words. Words can be difficult. Uh, let's send Cetra right into this guy. And these guys right into these guys. 
This guy's fine. Let's use this on this. I don't even know if that's any good. Good from a high angle. Yeah, we're definitely going to be on a high angle quite often. Uh, 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 uh. Let's use this. Okay. Easy enough battle. Didn't really lose a whole lot of anything, which is kind of what we were hoping for, but... Just had to make sure we did it, right? Chariots there. Triple speed because it is over now. There we go. Don't need to run them down at all, so let's just end the battle. I don't think running them down is going to affect anything there. It might have affected loot, though. I don't know. How I know for Skaven, it affects how much food you gain if you run them down. But I don't know if it has any mechanics, any difference in mechanics for Cetra or Tomb Kings. Because jars are always 30, which we should probably start getting jars. Um, we have to sack, so we don't really get anything for sacking, but that's fine. We got our money, which is super important. Uh, we're going to move you back to there, I guess. There's really no point in doing that, but no point in... Actually, there is, because we can recruit the archer that we need. And we can get rid of that. Um, I'm not in foreign territory. I am in foreign territory because I don't have Zandri. That was a mistake. Okay. Uh... Shen's burning gaze plus. Uh, does he have anything that's actually... Yeah, he has banishment. So he does have a uh, magic attack, which is super important to me. And we're just going to chill. If they attack us, we'll be very happy because that's just loot. Free loot. Unfortunately, it isn't a level, but it is free loot right at the end of the day. So that's what matters. Do not, Malagor. I swear, do not. Oh my god. I'll be so mad if they do that. Uh, we can't do anything with them. Might attack them just because. Uh, we're going to go ahead and auto-resolve that because I think we can now. We're just going to keep sacking it. Unassigned skill points for Cetra. I'm kind of thinking I should have went through the red line now because I have the spellcaster, right? Oh, I think that might have made more sense. I think we're going to go ahead... And go through red line. Um, I know I already wasted a couple points going to the spells. But. Like, he doesn't really have anything super amazing. And we do have our priest. I don't know. Because we could get this. Right. Um, and then tomb guards. Right. Because he's all about tomb guards. Right. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Do we keep going? Resurrect is really, really powerful. So yeah, okay, I should have done this earlier. That's my bad. This is fine. Uh, we got a level for you too. But also, I guess it's not that big of a deal because I didn't really realize that we were going to be getting one off the hop. Normally it takes you a few times to be able to actually get one that you want, right? Um... I don't know if I want... Like, the Net of Amatox is probably what I want there. Malagor needs to, like, go away. It's not even in his devastation, is it? Oh, is this where he said... No, he took that. Is this within his devastation? I hope it's not. He needs to leave. Yeah, it annoys me. Okay. I'm really nervous about him being there. If he raises it, I'll just be annoyed. It just ruins my plans. It's the only thing that would annoy me about it, right? Like, I don't want that settlement. I'm going to raise it eventually. Um, Yeah, I will take the jars, please. They're just chilling there, though. Okay. We're not making any real income from it. But we should actually be raiding as well. Just because that is a decent amount of income. Okay. And then arrows, probably. We could get a... 
we don't have we have way more of these guys right now so let's do that uh net of amatok i do need the jars soon but i want to get him powerful enough that we can take these guys on asap jars will come later because soon we're going to be able to do when we do another cask of souls here this will be really really good um <clears throat> 13 more turns we need to somehow make four grand 13 turns hopefully they recruit a lord or something of that nature would be really really nice uh just to get that little bit extra money in there would be so cool but i doubt it because i think he's staying in their radius so they can't oh did they no i thought they were sieging it now yeah he's within their radius so they can't even recruit a lord Okay. We need to get him up, up, up. Yeah, the beginning of this, like, <clears throat> of most campaigns, but, like, especially ones like this. Um, do we want to get these? I think maybe Fallout's Protection. Um, I don't know what Exorcism is. Oh, four leaderships and immune to psychology. We may as well, we, we may as well grab that eventually, but... Like evasion, banishment. I want that really, really badly. Um, I want this. But I want banishment. Because I need a damage dealing spell. ASAP. Making 250 a turn. Moving on up in the world. Doing so well with money. Uh, horrible. Horrible income. Uh, you have the plague. So we're going to screw off now, unfortunately. Who? How did you get the plague? How did you get the plague? Do I care if I catch the plague? How much is that going to bother me? We could go sack Zandri. Then we have to deal with a rebellion at Kemri. Are we going to be able to do that? Deal with a rebellion at Kemri? It is more money that we'll gain, right? So let's go do that. Because Zandri, they haven't upgraded anyways. So let's force march our butts over to Zandri. And let's start doing that. Especially with the plague. Like, I'm good. I'm so good. Settlement upgrade is available. I understand that. Um, Relations with foreign powers may be managed. Yeah, I hope they don't attack me. Oh, do you know what we haven't been checking for diplomacy? Anything. Let our lich priests I agree. Okay. Never. That's fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Surprised that we can't trade with them. Okay, that's fine. I don't really want to go to war with New Mass just yet. I don't really want to push east. I'd prefer to push west. Yeah, they all have Plague of the Crow. Okay, so they got Plague from Malagor. Fair enough. I'm lucky that we were just outside of the range of that. Okay. Two turns for our dynasties. Pretty good. Yeah, they finally took Korkazan. Yep. That's fine. We'll just do this, Andri. Hopefully they don't come down this way. And hopefully they take out... Um, yeah, we'll take that. I'm not spending jars. Not yet. We don't need stuff like that yet. Um, we're losing money now. Uh, sack it. Probably should have fought that manually, but... I don't know how we're losing money. Are we being raided? Oh, we are. I think we'll still be able to handle that, no problem. We have Plague now, which is awesome. Uh, Chaos Corruption plus 50. Okay. So we actually are, but are they? They don't have attrition. Okay. Are we going to be able to reach Zandri in any meaningful amount of time? They will have to siege it. So I, uh, it just sucks because it ruins my plans. Just that little bit, right? I think we're just going to hope that Camry holds. To be honest. I think that's the idea. Okay. I didn't raid with Cetra. It was a mistake. Already. Already. That's rough. That's really rough. I didn't expect for it to be that quick. I knew they were going to. I just didn't expect for them to do it now um that's a shame okay so we don't really want to do any of this stuff just yet we don't have the money for it um 
it's just skills and archers. Like, I like the speed, but, like, everything else I hate. Uh, 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 uh. We could go for this because by the time we're done it, it'll be really good. Actually, let's go for this. Growth is pretty nice, too. So. Yeah. And then we have uh, this one. So that's pretty good. Ammunition, melee attack. It's all pretty trash for what we want. Uh, this is Necrofanx and Cambrian Wars Fanx. Tomb Scorpions. So we do want this one because we want the Tomb Scorpions. Still be a little ways away until we're able to get Tomb Scorpions. And this one's pretty good because it's armor for skeleton archers. Missile strength for skeleton archers. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with this, I think. The tax rate is going to be really, really nice. Camry is fine. Uh, Cetra, you can probably just keep auto-resolving here. Uh, we'll have to take Camry sooner rather than later. But it's fine. We're going to go raid. You are going to take evasion. I like how easy this one is. I'm hoping that we have some time here. Recruit Lord, Master Ceremony, or Strong. I think we're going to go Strong. Really tough decision on that one. Uh, we're going to take the last Archer there. We'll give that over to Cetra when we have time. And we'll take Global as well. Because he's going to be here for a while. Uh, so we're at 4. And that's four. So we can get 19 units by the time we're done four. Can we recruit any more heroes? I don't think we can, right? No. Ushapti Carver. I would like that, actually. Master Ceremony. Aggressive. Wise. Treacherous. Knowledgeable. There's a knowledgeable one. I really hope we don't lose him. Okay. Okay. We are how many turns away? Nine more turns. So we might be able to make our way there. Nine turns. 1,800 gold. Give or take, we should be able to make our way there. Uh, there we go. And especially if they do actually send an army over. Um, they will dip out of Zandri so fast if we see an army coming. We don't need to keep Zandri. We only need to keep Kemri. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. We could do the thing where we get a tier 3 Camry ASAP, but I don't think that is a good idea. Like, it is a good idea, but I want more of these first. This great incantation of uh, Petra. I would prefer this, though. And we can't even do it until we get a Necrotect. We don't have a Necrotect. So, decisive victory. We got a new one. Magic resistance. Perfect. Actually, let's put that on the War Sphinx. Okay. Suck it. We got uh, that. Okay. We have this one. Banishment, finally. Okay. Settlement upgrade available. I know. I do not care. So we can probably wait one turn. And then we'll move him over towards Cetra. Because if we have... Or actually, we'll move him there, kind of. No, I think he's fine where he is. Because the top knots come down again. I would prefer him to be in there to make sure that they can't do any damage to us. Because I don't think they're coming. I don't think the other guys are coming for a while. They declared war on us, sure, but it's going to be a few turns before they can get here at the very least. <clears throat> and if we have a revolt, because we're raiding and attacking our own one, um, infrastructure might be a good time to do that, except that really didn't become that much cheaper, did it? Uh, 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 um. Do your thing. We're losing a whole 36 each time. We did get a... Legendary Spearman, which we may as well throw in. It's not going to do anything for us, really, but it's not going to hurt us either. Um. Oh, can I take this yet? No. Okay. And you didn't level there. That's annoying. Almost there. Two turns? Two turns. Okay. Why? Oh, I put him in ambush. Huh. God. That was a mistake. God damn it. Thought I put him in raid. Take 
that. Sack it. Now raid. Okay. We're slowing down on the levels for sure, but it is what it is. I need that to be upgraded. Income from sacking settlements plus 12%. Wow. Okay, how are you doing? One more turn. We can start bringing you over. I'm just gain him some experience while we're over there. Uh, we have six turns. We should be okay to get another one of those, which would be really, really awesome. That'll go in Setra's army, and then we can trade over to the other guys. How close are we to a revolt here, though? That's also important, whether or not we're bringing him over right away or not. Top knots are still alive, which is super awesome. Uh, I just want them to die. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. I think we need the money right now, because then we can do this. I'll be very happy with that. Okay, so you... We're still plus 16. Uh, when we move out, what are we at? Minus three. So it is going to be a long time until uh, we get attacked, but it's fine. Decisive victory. Yes, please. Nope. Do not occupy it just yet. We're not quite where I want to be. I don't know if I want to go all the way to resurrect, but I know that I need more spells. It's six. I thought it was five. Okay, so we can do that now. Um, skeleton archers, skeleton horsemen, there we go, I want that, and that, and that, and then that, well, I think I only need one, see, I need this first, then this, and then this, but reanimate is first, obviously, as soon as we have reanimate available, we'll be taking that, okay, uh, raid, continue to recruit, yeah, we'll keep him here for one more turn, because then that'll just delay the revolt for as long as possible. Still not moving towards us just yet. They declared war on us, but they haven't moved towards us, so that's fine. That's pretty good for us, because uh, that'll keep them busy. What the hell? Yeah. How strong are these guys? Strong enough that they're annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna bring my other army in. How many more turns? Actually, we should check diplomacy. Can we trade with you? Fine. Okay, right, it's five more turns, four more turns, okay. So we'll move you forward. Um, yeah, we'll wait for the other army to come in. It'll be just next turn, I believe, that we can get there. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. I just want to make sure we don't take too many losses, because if we get weak, they're going to attack. Like, they'll pounce the moment we get weak, right? And that is something I would like to avoid, but that'll be a lot of loot that we get there. Uh, we encountered Grimgore. Awesome. We need to attempt to get non-aggression with him ASAP. Because he's obviously already rolling. Yeah, strength rank one. Thank you. I need the growth. Yeah, they're recruiting. Okay. We'll attack that army first. Okay. Decisive victory. We are going to fight it. Um, just because I feel like we haven't fought one. And this is going to be a cool one. It's been a while for a battle. <clears throat> and this is the first one we've actually had to fight. So Let's see what happens. Let's see that new spell. will be really, really cool. Uh, we need to trade over the archer ASAP, though. ASAP. And doing this, as long as we don't completely crush their uh, reinforcements are coming from this direction, that's fine. Their reinforcements are coming from over there. Okay. Let's angle ourselves like this then. Uh, like this. Bring these guys there. Get 
him to be angled more this way. Uh, gamble that, because it's very, very low. Okay. Our reserve sucks. That is what it is. Triple speed here. Okay. A whole bunch of skelly spears that we're just going to layer on top. Uh, definitely out of range, which is awesome. Okay. Okay. And then the one archer. Yay. Okay. Triple speed while they come in. While everybody figures out their lives. How many do we need to kill? Is that our deaths? I think. I think it is. Okay. As soon as everybody gets into position, I'm going to move them all up as a unit, as a group. Mm -mm. Take your time. Don't worry. It's fine. Okay, so let's look at this. It is a vortex, which I don't really like, but it is what it is. There's not much we can do about it, right? So... Come on. Get in position. Move them back a little bit. Okay, turn around. See if you can fire just yet. Okay, yeah, you can. Yeah, fire wherever you would please. That's fine. Okay, let's get these groups of archers. Get guard mode. Screw you, spider riders. Uh, let's bring up the first group. Bring these guys back. Casket of souls. Fire over here, please. Actually, no. Fight fight the gutter runners, please. Okay. I don't have anybody in a group, which is great. Uh, group lock. You guys all go and attack, please. You guys go over here. Nasty Skulkers. Uh, the War Sphinx can get over here as well. My four Archer units can back up and attack this Archer unit. The ideal. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Everything has just become a kind of a chaotic melee. It's fine. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're doing work. We are going to take a lot of damage here, but we are doing work as well, so. Just part of it. Okay. Attack these guys, please. Okay, you guys get over here. Start moving all towards their group. Lock. Attack over here, please. You can attack these guys. Eventually, we will win. It's just going to take a while. Okay. Get these guys into the Death Runners. Actually, this Death Runner, please. 
Mm-mm-mm. Cast of Souls is doing his job. Ushopti. Where do I need the Ushopti? I guess just right there is probably ideal. Oh, this unit's dead. Actually, yeah, you guys keep doing your thing over there. You guys attack over here. There. Oh, some damage, I guess. Cast that. Cast it. I want to see it. Well, killed them, but then did nothing afterwards. Great. <laughs> They're not even attacking anything anymore. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Can we attack now? Oh, I'm still clicked on them. Okay. Whatever. Okay. How are they still alive? This is one problem with, like, so many units. It's, like, it's just messy. And then I end up losing stuff I shouldn't be losing because it's just messy, right? Like, it's too much going on for me right now. Okay. Mm -mm. There we go. There's army losses, finally. Yeah, I definitely would have done better in the auto-resolve, I think, but... It is what it is. <coughs> chariots did pretty good, though. Overall, the chariots did pretty decent. Yeah, they still have a decent amount of their army left, so we will be able to get another battle. I'll probably just auto-resolve the next one, to be honest. Uh, I think we'll take the jars here. We didn't lose a full unit, thankfully. We'll probably lose that now, though, but... Uh, yeah, we'll take the jars. Setcher mm -mm. will take that decisive victory. And sack it. Doesn't really matter who owns Zandri, as long as it's not us. Okay. Public order would probably be good. I do want more growth. Uh, unit capacity for archers is probably really, really good. We have six grand. And we have. <clears throat> we stopped performing that right in a few turns, so we're gonna wait. Uh, Reanimate's pretty good. We got two levels there, which is really good. Do we want that, or do we want this? Uh, we don't want that at all. Um, I think we want this for now. Because I think the blessing of the asp will, can wait for a little while. Uh, there we go, root marcher. Oh, we have a, cool. Address me as your Okay, you can take these bad boys. Cetera can recruit these. Oh, we actually need to give you one more unit. We need to take that, and you can also have these guys. Look at that. And then now we're looking a lot better. Okay, and then now you don't have enough movement. Yeah, you're out of movement. Why is it? Okay. Setra, you're not in Force March. You are out of movement completely, though. Okay. So we'll see what they do. They'll probably go into Zandri. If they can. They should be able to get into Zandri, no problem. <clears throat> With us having two... Oh, they oh, I thought they left for a second. Ah. 
That's fine. Public order. Yay. I'm glad we got minus recruitment cost. Woo. Looking so good. Okay. Second. And then raid. Raid. Lord not move. That can always be skipped for now. Uh, we do want jar hoarder for him. Mm, I need this. I need that so bad. Just because we are going to be attacked relatively soon, and I'm not excited for it. Uh, can we get these now? We can. That's pretty good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's pretty good. Um, but I think Arcane Conduit trumps that for now. We're making money. We have two grand we can spend, which is not a horrible amount. I do want to get to Tomb Guard. Four grand is a lot of money right now when we have that in two turns. So I think we're still going to wait. <clears throat> They're still not attacking us, right? So we're going to ride this for a while. Okay. Yeah. Demanding a change in your mutual. There's literally no way. Um. Yeah, sure. Bury him. Okay. It's not very much money, and it doubles the income of that building, which I think is what we're gonna go with. Oh, he ran away. Okay, I didn't even mean to attack him outside of the settlement. I meant to attack the settlement itself. Sack it. And raid, please. Okay, we have resurrect now. That's really important that we got that. I just want to get him a few more levels. I want to get him on his war sphinx, and then a couple other things will be really good. Maybe lightning strike as well. Um... I do want Immortality. That's so quick that we get that. Um, let's go with this, though. Land of the dead. Oh, do nothing. Okay. I think otherwise, we're looking pretty good. We are minus seven, obviously, so we are going to be... Having to deal with a revolt eventually, just not yet. One more turn, then we can do that. Get him another one and put... He's at 20 of 20, so we can actually merge up some of these. And give him another Spearman. Okay. I think... Do we want Lightning Strike with Setra right away? Let's look at the skills. Uh, we have Soul Reaper, which could be pretty good. These two are pretty good. I don't care about this too much, but attend me. Yeah, so... How many levels is that? Because you need four. So we'd go Jar Hoarder and then Replenishment Rate. Right? So, or do we do go Replenishment Rate? I think we go Replenishment Rate and then one Jar Hoarder. Then Tend Me. So that's five levels. Six levels. Okay. We'll see how much we get. If we gain a level about every turn, we'll probably do that. Well, seven levels, because we have to put him on his War Sphinx next level. Oh! Where was she? We have to take this next turn. We need the replenishment now. Yeah. We have to take that this turn. What is happening? Why can't I transfer troops? I'm so confused. Okay, decisive victory. <clears throat> uh, we're going to occupy that. I would definitely like to still be doing that. But I know they're coming now. So, Okay, now can I? Okay. Um, We have to take one unit from Cetra. <clears throat> Just take his weakest spearman. And Setra now can have another regiment of renown. Okay. 
There we go. I want to have like three of these guys soon. Okay, so we can recruit spears here. That's perfect. Uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and merge up some Acetras. Oh, no. We're all going to replenish here pretty quick. So, uh, But you guys can merge. Just basically do all of that. Okay. And then that leaves me with one bad one, which I can disband. And then I can disband one of you. And then now I can recruit three of you. Which will actually have more experience than these guys. Okay. So I want him on the War Sphinx, please. Commandment is available. We're going to go with... Oh, you're here. That's why. Oh, my God. And neither one of them can move. Okay. That's awesome. If I was Sally out, it's a valiant feat. But if they attack me, it's probably not going to be very good for them. Okay. Melee defense might even be preferable here. Let's do that, though, because then maybe I can get there. Okay. I can upgrade Zandria. I can also repair that. I'm going to repair that because it's going to be a decent amount of cash coming in. Uh, if I was to stop recruiting, would you be able to move at all? No. Okay, let's see what happens. I didn't know they. I didn't notice that they sneaked by. I thought they were just over here. I didn't realize. Ah, uh, I didn't see that pop up. That's annoying. That's my bad. I would have t uh, legged it over there. Because we lose Camry, we're a little screwed. We're a little screwed if we lose Camry this early. Oh, they brought another army. Awesome. Okay. They might jump us because we're both in force march here. But I don't think they will. I think we're going to lose Camry, which is actually a really big deal. Obviously, we'll fight it. Oh, they left. They left. That's amazing. They're going to declare war. Military access? No, no, no. We're going to go after you next. I really, If they declared war, it would have been so sad. It would have been such a scary day. Okay. Anyways. Can we... We can get there. And then we can get... There. And then next turn, we can start trying to pick them off. Settlement upgrade available for Camry. I think we don't have to worry about Camry anymore, so I think I will. Although we have 20 more turns. We're going to get a lot of money back, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Unassigned skill points for the Light Priest. Uh, Keeper of Lord, probably pretty good. Getting him on a Steed would be really, really nice too. Uh, I do want that though. I do, I do, I do. Okay. Okay. Camry is tier 3, or about to be, so let's see what happens. Let's see what they do. Obviously, the rating sucks. It's a lot of money that we're losing, but not much we can do about it. They're attacking! Haha! -ha! Close to feet. How do they get reinforcements? That's annoying. Close to feet, huh? I don't know if that'll be a close to feet. Um, and even if it is, this guy is actually trash. So I'm not upset if we lose him. Because I know Satcher will be able to take... Yeah, let's do this. If we lose him, no big deal. No big deal. But, huge cliffhanger, I know. But we are right at that hour mark, and this battle is going to take a few minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to be all in this episode, unfortunately. Um, and we'll be back with episode two. And hopefully averting disaster. Thank you guys for joining me, Mr. Fantastic. Logging off.